Welcome to another installment of the Angry Lieutenant. And on my last video, I screwed the pooch a little bit because I gave you two attributes that would help you go far in the US Army, or for that matter, in the military. But one of those attributes, besides passion, was selfless service. But then I remembered, selfless service is already listed in the Army values. And one of the things that I want to do in these videos is give you some stuff, some stuff that you might not see in the literature, the pamphlets, or the propaganda. And so today, I'm going to give you three more attributes that perhaps, if you implement them, if you possess them, they may help you go far, just to make up for that little mistake I did last time. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and rip off this bag and get started in three, two, one. Welcome to the 13th installment of The Angry Lieutenant. You wouldn't be the first junior leader if you were to find yourself at your new duty station surrounded by a lot of people who have an amazing amount of institutional knowledge. And you may be wondering what do you bring to the table? Well, you bring a lot to the table because you are a leader in training and you're going to be a leader in training until the day you step out of the military. Now I'd like to discuss three attributes positive energy, being predictable, and being transparent. The first, positive energy. You bring to the table, or you should bring to the table, a sense of positive energy. Your subordinates, your peers, they're going to look to you to be a positive role model in your organization. I mean, that really is why you're getting paid. And so the days of you being an angsty, introspective, brooding teenager, that shit's over. You're in the game now. And so to remember, always be positive. And even on those days when you're not feeling that positive, you're going to find that people are just going to assume that you're going to be, be bringing a positive attitude to the table. The second one is predictability. Haven't we, all, haven't we all had a boss that we didn't know what they were going to be like when they came in every morning? Were they going to be happy? Happy! Were they going to be sad? Sad! And worst of all, they were going to expect you to be in the same mood that they're in. Freaking manic! Get rid of that. You ain't no Stephen Hawking. Be predictable. People around you like to see you do certain things. They find comfort in the fact that the way you look at things, the way you do things is predictable. There's nothing wrong with being predictable. And also, be transparent. Be transparent because you're not the Illuminati. Be transparent with your superiors, with your peers, and more importantly, with your subordinates. They want to know that they're talking to a person with consistency. They want to know that they're getting the information from a person who is completely transparent and has nothing to hide. I have found that a lot of people don't like to be transparent because it's as if they're giving away some sort of advantage to other people. And I say, get that shit out of your mind. Your concern is not what other people are thinking about you. That is not your concern. What your concern is, is what are you thinking about your people and how you'll care for them. So three quick attributes, being positive, being predictable, and being transparent, I think will assist you, will assist you in going far. So with that, remember that it's an honorable profession, but it's only honorable when people like yourself are being on it. So go forth, my little birdies, and have some fun. <laughs>